Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about 10 things you never knew about the Honda CRV. Right now, I am in my 2017 Honda CRV EXL. That is the trim level of my vehicle. And I want to go over 10 awesome things about this truck that you probably didn't know about. Let's get right into it. The first thing, number one, I'm going to try and keep these each short and sweet. Number one is that it actually has a turbo engine, a 1.5 liter turbo engine to be precise. Let's rev that baby up. As you can hear, it actually sounds really good. When I saw the turbo badge on the car, I was like, wow, that's awesome. Then he told me it was a 1.5 liter. I was like, ah, that's kind of small. But when I heard it, I was like, wow, that is all that I need, okay? Good amount of horsepower, good amount of torque. The engine is great. Number two, the second cool thing is that there are actually three ways to open the trunk, okay? And as I get outside of the car, you're probably gonna hear my voice go a little bit lower because I don't want to be screaming in the parking lot when people are walking around. But here's the first way. You can push and hold that down. That will open the trunk. The second way is on the actual key fob, which I'll pull out of my pocket. You can see that there's a button right there to actually uh, open and close the trunk. And the third way is actually on the trunk. So let's head outside, like I said, while I lower my voice and as we go to the back of the vehicle, you'll see that underneath here, there's actually a button right here on the left, a long button that uh, allows me to open and close the trunk, well, to open the trunk, okay? So that is the second cool thing. The third cool thing is that it actually has no gas cap. You like that transition, eh? From quietly speaking to screaming with my regularly loud voice. So the third thing is that it actually has no gas cap. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go down and we're gonna open up the gas, uh, the gas, the gas portion of the vehicle. So I'm just gonna reach down here, we're gonna pull the lever. And if you take a look over here, you can actually see that it has no gas cap. So check that out. There's actually no gas cap. You just put the pump nozzle right in there and you can start pumping. It's cool, when you're done, you pull it out and you just close the door. That's the word I was looking for. The door, the gas door, okay? <clears throat> the fourth thing about the Honda CRV that is really, really cool is that it actually has a heated front windshield, okay? Now, if you take a look right here, if I push this button, you can see it's a windshield with, it looks like a zigzag, like an electronic line across it. If I push that button, what it does is it actually heats up the lower portion of the windshield, which allows the windshield wipers to be melted with regards to the ice. If you get ice buildup on your wipers, the heated windshield will keep that ice off of the wipers. Really really super useful feature to be honest with you i use that all the time after i found out about it i use it all the time the fifth cool thing that you didn't know about the crv most likely is that it actually has many options for the dash display so right here you can see there's a dash display now the top actually stays meaning the tachometer the gear that you're in like park drive reverse neutral blah 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 and the speedometer they uh they always stay like that but then down here right now i have it set to like fuel economy but you can set it to like uh basically the all-wheel drive system you can set it to uh you know your, your your maintenance schedule so like how much oil life you have left you can pretty much set this to anything most people i would think would leave it at one of the um dynamic ones like most people wouldn't leave it at how much oil life you have left because that's it's just going to stay the same every five percent it updates or whatever it is but you know most people would leave it at like say fuel economy or the all-wheel drive system if it's snowing outside you can see which tires are spinning really really cool okay the sixth thing that you probably didn't know about the Honda CRV is that there's actually a secret way to lock the doors <clears throat> and it's actually on the trunk so we're going to go outside one more time now, beside that button on the trunk that I showed you before, there's a button right here, a long button to open the trunk. There's a little small circular button that has these ridges on it. And if you push that, it actually locks the doors. So it's really useful because let's say you are, let's say that you are actually, um, let's say you're, you're putting your groceries uh, into your trunk and walking away or, or taking them out of your trunk and walking away. You can close the trunk, push that button and it locks the doors. I'm obviously not gonna do that now because I just walked into the car. Um, uh, number seven is the economy mode is actually useful. So check this out. <coughs> the economy mode right here, if you push it, 
Okay, it actually says Econ on, and that little uh, tree icon shows up over there. The economy mode is super useful, simply because it actually saves gas. I've done uh, an experiment, uh, and I've read up on it in forums, and it will literally save a substantial amount of gas. However, it does limit your power, your acceleration regularly. I mean, if you floor it, it's still going to boogie. The car's still going to go at full, at its top torque and horsepower. But with regards to your regular driving, it will limit your horsepower use, which will save gas. Really, it's essentially the same thing as going lighter on the gas pedal but I have trouble doing that so economy mode is something that I definitely use uh, quite often when I am uh, when I want to save some gas all right um, so number eight is actually that the trunk base has two different positions okay so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna open up the trunk and I'll show you um, what I mean I don't I don't actually know what I have in the trunk I hope that there's nothing in there uh, but I'm gonna show you what I mean let's just see hopefully there's nothing in there so we'll actually open the trunk like this okay so as we make our way towards the trunk let me just take a peek yeah there's nothing in here it's all good okay so just some baby stuff uh, a booster and a uh, water bottle essentially um, the base of it okay the base of it right over here you can place it up on top of these ridges which allows it to be higher up but also flat so meaning you get more a longer flat surface okay it'll be just like that but then you get less height or you can put on the lower position like this which means you're not getting that levelness over there but you're getting additional height it's up to you okay um, and number nine the ninth cool thing is what I actually did which is that you can flip the trunk base over so as you can see this is the part of the trunk base right here that I have on the upside flipped up um, however this is actually supposed to be the bottom of the trunk base and this is because when we load and, and unload the stroller and all of the baby stuff and all of the all of the ch child stuff it's not going to get damaged so in the future when we're ready to sell the vehicle or whatever the case is uh, what well, we can just flip this over and it's going to be in mint condition underneath so you can actually take the base of the trunk and flip it so that the bottom is facing up the only downside is that the little handle that you're supposed to be able to pull on is flipped the other way so you got to figure out a way to sort of um, make that work so we're going to close this trunk we're going to go back in for the last one <clears throat> last but not least is number 10 which is that the passenger door handle will unlock all of the doors and the driver's door handle will only unlock the driver door so let's say you walk up to the car you unlock the you, you touch on the driver door handle it'll only unlock the driver door however if you were to touch on the passenger door handle it will unlock all of the doors okay um, and I think that you can configure this with each key fob, I'm pretty sure, but I just don't know how. But I'll tell you what, when I figure out how, I'll make a video on how to do it so everyone can do it as well. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.